tonight, it's going to be a nice stretch of dry weather. If you need to wash your car, you know, there's not going to be rain the next day to make it, uh, you know, not worth it. So, uh, Fred, you might be able to catch up on your yard work if Yippee. you haven't already, <laughs> since the neighbors are already ahead of the game, right? <laughs> anyway, it's going to be a nice day today. It'll be breezy at times. We've got a front that's going to work its way through the area later this morning. Not going to do a whole lot to the temperature, but it will cause a breeze to pick up this afternoon and we'll end up with temperatures that are a little below average for this time of the year. Warmer weather is on the way for later in the week. And again, looks like most of us are going to stay dry all the way through next weekend. The exception is the mountain locations where we could find a couple of showers on Thursday. But other than that, we are going to stay rain free with very dry air continuing to push on in and then just staying put. Not a huge chance to get the moisture back into the area. Well, some clouds and rain showers are moving away from us offshore this morning for the Carolinas. We've got some mostly clear skies, really from Raleigh to Greer, back towards Columbia and Atlanta. Sky conditions looking very good all across the southeastern United States. Farther to the west, there's an upper-level disturbance trying to produce some precipitation. But again, the air overall is dry, so I can't find any reports of anything hitting the ground there at front, uh, just off to our our west will make its way through later today and reinforce the dry weather for us. So looking good. We need the sunglasses. Uh, definitely looking at a cold start to the day, and we'll expect uh, relatively mild temperatures this afternoon. Clear skies will mean another cold wind force going into tomorrow morning, and a freeze will be possible for the upstate and likely in the mountains. We're talking mid 20s in the mountains by tomorrow morning. Plenty of sunshine that will help the temperature to rebound pretty nicely getting into the afternoon. Well, you can see out there this morning, conditions are calm. Uh, so it's going to take a little while in the afternoon hours really for that breeze to pick up. But winds will be out of the north today. And so that'll continue to push in that drier air. Right now it's 43 in Gaffney, but we're at 32 in Lawrence and 32 in Union. So uh, quite a difference in some temperatures across the upstate. We're at 40 in Anderson, freezing in Greenwood, mainly lower to mid 30s in western North Carolina. Here's a virtual sky cast for Spartanburg by 9 a.m. We're at 41, 54 degrees by lunchtime, topping out at 61. The average high temperature is in the mid 60s. So again, a little cooler than average for today, but sky conditions should look good. That's the case for the mountains too. Just above freezing by 9 a.m., 43 by midday, and we'll top out with a high temperature right around 50, which is also a little below average for this time of the year. Here's your forecast for the next 72 hours. Around 60 today, mid to upper 50s tomorrow for the first day of spring, which begins on Wednesday. Sunshine and a little warmer, up to 61, and then we warm it up from there. We're talking about upper 60s by the end of the week. So far next weekend, looking good. Clouds do begin to gather on Sunday, but I'll keep it dry. There's your mountain forecast. Look for a high near 50 today, 26 for tonight. Sunshine and low 50s for tomorrow. All right, let's get over to Emily.